Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a lavender and mint soap uh, with, of course, lavender and mint essential oils. I have these beautiful lavender buds that I'm going to sprinkle on top. Um, part of this order is for a custom order, a wholesale that was ordered and then some of it's to stock in my shop uh, for the colors because of the lavender and the mint. Um, and I want to keep this really natural. It's going to be a goat milk soap and I'm going to use green clay here for the mint. I'm going to split the batch and I'm also going to use red clay. Even though it's not purple, um, it's just a beautiful color. So I'm going to be using red and green clay for my color swirls. Uh, again, it's a goat milk with Tussa silk fibers, lots of colloidal oats in there. Um, I'm using hemp oil, organic hemp seed oil for a portion of the liquid oils in this soap. Um, so I just want it to be really rich, moisturizing, nourishing for your skin. Uh, so I'm going to gather everything together. I've got my goat milk solution cooling. My oils are melted and cooled. And so uh, we'll come back and make some lavender and mint soap. We're back and ready to get going here. Uh, the reason my oils have that sort of dark green color is because of the hemp oil. It's a very dark, rich color. Um, and here is my goat milk lye solution that's going to go in here. And it's just wonderful and creamy. Okay, goat milk, lye solution, and I did add a little sodium lactate in here so it'll unmold nice and firmly. And I'm going to hand stir until I uh, get the split off and then we will stick blend as needed. That is how I like to proceed. Oh, it just smells so good. Lavender and mint are just too... Kind of like peanut butter and chocolate. They just go together. It's gentle and I just think the mint kind of kicks the lavender up just a notch. Um, I'm not a huge lavender fan, but this combination, it's, it's good with me. I like it. I, but I, personally, I'm not just a straight lavender fan, but so many people are. I do make that soap very often because it's requested a lot. And I get it, but just for my nose particularly. But this combination, this does it. It's good. All right. And I'm going to split some off here for my two different clay colors. Wonderful, wonderful. Set that off to the side and we'll get our clays in here. So I think I'll do my red clay in here, a nice big heaping. Probably I'm going to go for a tea tablespoon. So this is a teaspoon. So that together, probably about a tablespoon. And I'll do the same in here with my green clay. A nice heaping one and then a relatively level one. Because really, can you have too much clay? I don't think so. <laughs> I think clays and soaps are awesome. I love how clays feel in a soap. And I really, personally, I really like what it adds to a bar. That's why I normally add kale and clay to just about all of my soaps. Um, I didn't here because I'm doing these two clays primarily. Look how pretty that green is, that green clay. It's just lovely. I am going to run a stick blender in here because this red clay is a little chunky, and I definitely don't want clay blobs in my soap. They wouldn't hurt you or anything, but, you know, I don't think aesthetically that's pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little stick blending here. I definitely don't want to have clay chunks in the soap. There we go. It's coming along really nice. Stick blend this for a minute. All right, I'm all done stick blending. Let's 
bring our mold over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop swirl in here and then I'll maybe run a hanger through it to make it really beautiful and wispy. And then of course, I've got those awesome lavender buds to go down on the top, which I'm so thrilled about. 